beautiful audience, beautiful audience. Okay, are y'all ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause. Let me hear a lot of noise, a lot of noise, y'all. Round of applause. Thank you very much. I am not a lesbian. Thank you very much. I am as disappointed as you are. I don't know what went wrong. I am straight, but not a breeder. I'm not a dyke, I'm a dichotomy. Thank you. I kept this out of the gene pool. You're welcome. My mom still thinks she's gonna get grandkids out of me. <laughs> I'm like, really, mom? Really, you want to raise the mutant spawn of these hard-boiled eggs? I don't think so. <laughs> I uh, went to a doctor recently, and she gave me a whole list of stuff I got to deal with, because I don't know if you noticed, I'm old. And uh, I was like, gee, I guess I'm not 20 anymore. And she goes, honey, you're not 40 anymore. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, I am single, though. No, really, I am. <laughs> and I don't care. I really don't. I used to care. I used to be like, I'll never find the perfect man. Now I'm like, I'll never find a man perfect. <laughs> Thank you. My dream is that my obituary contains the phrase, neighbors noticed a funny smell. Was that dark? That was dark? Okay, okay. I can't die alone soon enough. Okay, that's where it got dark. You're right, that was very dark. I was uh, shopping the other day at a thrift store because I'm classy, and uh, <laughs> I noticed that thrift stores have a lot of children's crutches. And that can go one of two ways. That's either Sarah doesn't need her crutches anymore, or Sarah doesn't need her crutches anymore. <laughs> That's as dark, as dark as it gets, you're right, okay. Awesome. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, but uh, here, kid, have a Werther's. There you go, That's a, <laughs> That's a joke, old people. You got Werther's! He's got, you brought Werther's to my show. Either you're a fan or just lucky, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go with fan, because I'm optimistic like that. Uh, fun fact about me, you guys, I um, did try a dating site called OurTime.com. Yeah, it's exactly what you think, dating site for people my age and older. I signed up, I should have known it was going to be bad. Their website works on a cricket phone. <laughs> I got an email five minutes later from my credit card asking if it was a fraudulent charge. Yeah. I did get an email from one dude, though, who was 81 years old. Go ahead, guess how old I am. Did you guess under 81? You'd be correct. But I'll give him this, though. In his photo, he looked 81. Mad props. Okay, because most of these guys are like my age, using photos from their prom. Okay, and, and I gotta run them through the face aging app to see what they really look like. Guys, new rule. In your dating profile photo, I'm gonna need you holding up a copy of today's newspaper. <laughs> that is the only way I'm gonna know you're too old, is if you still get a newspaper. Who does that? Because otherwise I gotta go by like, context clues in your photo, you know, like, oh, this guy's cute, what's that in the background? Oh, a radio shack, okay, uh. <laughs> not the store, not the store, mind you. A World War II tent where they keep the comms gear, a radio shack. <laughs> Dude, I would love to respond to you, but I don't know Morse code, sorry. Yeah, I, um, I work with kids, thank you. Um, <laughs> I actually used to be a face painter, you guys. For real, I know. Some of you are depressed I didn't bring it. I did not bring a paint gear with me, no, but I had a big sign that said face paint. And
and uh, they would always have to ask, do you also paint arms and hands? Yes. <laughs> but the sign just says face paint because it'd be weird if it said kids body painting. <laughs> I have been to parties for one-year-olds with 200 guests. How does a one-year-old have 200 friends? Are these golf buddies? What is this? And one-year-old, he doesn't have enough of a personality to deserve a name. So unless the parents invest in a big banner that says, Happy Birthday, Cody, nobody knows the kid's name. So the birthday song gets really awkward in the middle. Be like, Happy Birthday, dear... Cody, yeah. And whenever I do these parties, the big parties, there's always one woman in the back who thinks she's Patty Lapone, or Patty LaBelle, Patty Pate, any of the singing patties, really. <laughs> and this is her moment. You know, she's got backup dancers, she's got a spotlight. I guess she figures with 200 guests, someone's got to be an agent, right? And she gives this song everything. Happy birthday! me. That was me singing in the back of every party. I did that. I did that one year and the, the mom came up and said, were, were you singing? And I went, yeah. And she goes, next year, can you just paint faces? I can paint anything, by the way, anything. And it, it, it doesn't matter because all they ever want is Spider-Man. Spider-Man. No, yeah, Superman. It's just a face. He doesn't wear a mask. Screw Spider-Man. Or screw, screw... Whichever is Superman. I don't even care. I just, they all want Spider-Man, and I get it, because it's your whole face, it's a mask, it's fun. And a kid came up to me, said he wanted to be Spider-Man. I'm like, honey, can you just come up with anything else, please? So he said he wanted to be LeBron James. <laughs> And I said, honey, if I paint that, we're both gonna get kicked out of here. <laughs> and you'll never be able to run for office, so think it through. So the kid said he would settle for a little picture of LeBron James riding a dolphin in Mexico. I thought I nailed it. I show him the mirror and he goes, why is he wearing an away jersey? Because Mexico's an away game, kid. Leave me alone. <laughs> a few years ago, I was uh, hired to paint at a Jewish day school. Uh, <laughs> yeah. For the ten plagues. The kids were learning the ten plagues for Passover. And they, went, and I, they said I could only paint the ten plagues. For those of you who don't know, that's like um, unhealing boils, rivers turning to blood, fire and ice falling out of the, you know, kid stuff. I actually had to go to kids and go, hey, sweetie, what's your favorite plague? Do you want lice? I can give you lice. Lice is a plague. That's a... Frogs are the cutest plague, for sure. And a kid came up to me and said he wanted a painting of an Egyptian taking a shower, but the water's turning into blood. I'm like, honey, did I just paint LeBron on you? Come on. A... I said, I can't do that. Egyptians didn't have running water can't do it. So he says, they could rig up a bucket and a rope. Fair point. Uh, so I painted it all out, red glitter, the whole bit. It was beautiful. And the next kid in line was his sister. She's like six years old and she's so cute. She goes, I want the river of blood. <laughs> and I was like, oh honey, it's coming. <laughs> the one true plague. <laughs> but that was kids' parties. I painted tons of kids' parties, but uh, I also used to paint grown-up parties. 
I was in Chicago, St. Patrick's Day, very big there, and I would paint at bars. And every time I painted a bar, there's always the one drunk guy who thinks he's going to get a rise out of me going, hey, hey, paint a dick on my face. <laughs> OK. Erect or flaccid, balls or no balls, hair or no hair, curve to the left, curve to the right, cut or uncut, pierced or unpierced, and what color? Usually he'll just go, can, can I get Spider-Man? Yeah, let's do Spider-Man. Uh, so yeah, I'm this age, and uh, I actually had to go to a hospital recently. The, uh, and my insurance says the only hospital I can go to is called Resurrection. I don't want to go to a hospital that believes in resurrection. I just don't think they're going to try as hard, you know? Just... We lost her, Doc. Oh, we'll get it when she comes back. What, three days, right? Let's go get tacos. Is it? I went there and they asked me if I was pregnant. I should point out this was recently. And I'm like, no. And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. We women have little ways of knowing things. Like if we've even seen a dick in the past nine months. <laughs> okay. I said that one night at a club, and a woman sitting down front says, you know, you don't have to see it. <laughs> Fair point. All right, thank you so much for your time. I'm Amanda Cohen. Have fun. This has been a Funny Media Group production.